welcome in. Sorry for being late. I do apologize for that. How's everybody today? Everybody doing good? Welcome in, everybody. Welcome in, Cameron. If you can me, Cam. Welcome in, Ivy. Ivy, did you get your wine drunk? <laughs> Welcome in, Racine Jackson. Welcome in, Laura. Vicky. Jen. Miss Debbie. Welcome in. Welcome in, Liz, from a little bit of everything. Welcome in, Maribel. I can't say it like Veronica, but welcome in. You know, you know how, how I feel. Welcome in, Aisha. Welcome in, Miss Ronell. Uh, y'all been chatting while y'all been waiting on me. Welcome in, Gracie. Welcome in, Sunita. Party time. <laughs> <laughs> welcome in Kimmy Kim welcome in Jessica welcome in Jeannie welcome in sis Melissa welcome in welcome in Miss Rose welcome in everybody welcome in we're gonna do a a, a couple of giveaways tonight we're going to do a moderator giveaway I have my mods in my bucket see and we're gonna do a super chat and super sticker giveaway tonight so love them lips this is my mary Kay lipstick compliments of uh not compliments of mama j but i purchased it from mama j mama j is a mary k sales rep so if anybody wears mary k and likes their makeup Mama J is uh, one that you can order it from. Kim saying, I see did you, Cammy. LOL. Everybody's speaking. Kim's making a baby blanket for his niece. Uh, Melissa says, love you, sis Kim. Kim saying, hi, Ivy. What's in y'all's cup? What's on y'all's hook? Hopefully nothing on your hook. Welcome in, bestie Sandrine. Welcome in because we're going to be making this. I was trying to find the book that I got the stitch from, but I could not find it, y'all. I guess that's what you get for having too many books. And I did not write it down on my notes that I made, but I do have my notes where I made it. So we will, we're going to get through this thing, y'all. <laughs> because I actually changed the stitch pattern. Welcome in, Miss Joanne from Wisconsin. Welcome in. Melissa says, hey, sweet Debbie, Ronell, Cami, Ivy, and Sandrine. Maribel says, hi, Kim, Melissa, Vicky, and Proverbs, Jeannie. <laughs> and Ivy says, hello at Sandrine and Sunita makes crochet items. She just left the O off the word, y'all. Wine and cup. I figured as much. Welcome in, Lydia. You're working on your Addy Knitting Machine making a scarf. Uh, Rosie Osborne, welcome in. You're making a springtime shower with snow and ice coming tomorrow night. Yes, uh, my husband's out in Texas. He's um, in Farmersville. And he said that it's supposed to be down in the 20s. I think he said in the 20s tomorrow night. So he's going, he'll final out in Corsicana. Jen says, You want some cheese with that wine, Ivy? <laughs> <laughs> Laura has cherry Dr. Pepper and my yarn and hook are waiting on you. Kim's crochet and knit says hi, Maribel. Jessica says hi, everyone coming in. Did you get my second whip finished about 30 minutes before this live? Very good, Ronell. Very good. Little bit says hi, Kim and Melissa. And Miss Debbie saying hi to Proverbs Jeannie. Kim saying, Sandrine, I hope you feel better. Welcome in, Adele. Welcome in, Trisha. Welcome in, Rosie. I do have my slow mode on. And if y'all didn't notice, I also have the subscriber only mode on. And you have to be subscribed for at least two days. So that's going to help cut down on trolls and um, people that 
aren't subscribers and stuff like that. So, yeah. Want to be part of the butterfly group? You got to hit the subscribe button, right? <laughs> I think server is watering down my drink. Well, tell him to stop watering it down. And Gracie is saying, hi, sweet Adele. I have Diet Cherry Pepsi in my wine glass is what um, Miss Rosie Osborne says. Kevin says, Aunt Jeannie, 20 degrees is a normal nighttime low here in Michigan. Yeah. Look, during the wintertime, he used to run Michigan all the time during the wintertime. But as we get older, you know, all these little joints and knees and stuff start creaking and hurting and all that kind of stuff. So he said he's done did his time on the road. He's done paid his dues. He's not going north during the winter if he don't have to. So... We're supposed to be in the 70s tomorrow. Well, it was nice today, too. It's 57 degrees right now. We're supposed to be in the 70s tomorrow and Thursday, but we're supposed to be getting some severe weather Thursday. Then next Tuesday and Wednesday, we're supposed to be getting um, 79 degrees for a couple of days next week. He is, Miss Rosie. He's, he's a trucker. Jessica's eating spaghetti and drinking cherry soda off bend yeah 70s then drop into the 20 with freezing rain and then snow tomorrow here in kansas city missouri from what the what i've been keeping up with the weather welcome in connie welcome in you from a long line of trucker family we actually uh run our own trucking company uh miss rosie Um, Nightbot will be dropping links from time to time. Um, I do have some links. Let me do this right quick. Let me show y'all what I did today. I girl been busy. Let me get it dropped and then I will say what it says. It better work. All that time I put in. <laughs> I would like to thank all my members who are a part of my butterfly squad. That's Kim from Kim's Crochet and Knit. Sandrine from Sandrine McKinney. Liz from Life Talk with Liz, Sunita from Sunita Makes Crochet and More, our V from Steals the Show Crochet and Shelves, Brenda from Brenda the Newbie Crocheter, Jeanette from DOY Creations, Alyssa from Queen Bee Crochet and Knits, Sis Melissa from Melissa Crochets and um, More. <laughs> Y'all, my mind, I'm saying all this. Michelle from Nana Michelle Crochet and More, Ursula from OM Granny Square. Linda from Linda Simpson, Nisi from Freehandly Made, AU, Leanne from Crocheting with Leanne, Miss Nancy McDonald, Gina from Knitting Turnpike, and Miss Deborah from um, Delphine's Handcrafted. And it don't stop there, y'all. I had to create another command. I could have did the same one, but... Uh, Let me see. Let me get that one. Welcome in, Queen B. Welcome in. Um, I would like to thank all my members who are part of the Butterfly Squad. That is Miss Margaret G, Miss Debbie P, Lady G Cobra 2010, Miss Roberta, Miss Elizabeth Aaron Crochet, Diane Sharp, Mark, uh, Ronell, Sabrina, and Rita. Thank you all so very, very much. Um, I do have an alert. Um, v is not going to be going live Thursday at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. She's moving it to 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time Thursday evening. Um, they had something that come up, and it's a conflict with her regular scheduled time, so she's changing it to 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. That is the link to her live for that day, so make sure to go over there and hit that reminder button and... Um, said it so you don't forget because she will not be live at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. <clears throat> Welcome in, Margaret. Good evening. Good evening. Everybody speaking to Ivy and Cameron and Queen B and Queen B is Alyssa. So, um, Everybody's command should be working. Kim, yours is exclamation Kim. Um, 
Queen B, yours is Queen. Melissa, yours is, um, oh, Lord. I just had them wrote down, and I better throw them in the trash. Mm. And tore them up, too, but I did email them to Mama J because she wanted them. Um, Brenda's is exclamation Bren. Sandrine's is exclamation Bestie. Sanita's is exclamation Blue. Yes, and it, it'll be 4 p.m. Central Standard Time, our time. So, um, Ms. Debbie, I don't have your set up yet. I've got to, I didn't have quite enough time to get everybody's put in, but I will definitely do that. I can do that now right quick. Maribel says, hi, Liz. So what we're going to do is make this wine cover. I already have my, compu uh, my computer. I'm on my computer. I already have my other camera connected. Everything already set up, ready to go. I know I said you will need a 5 millimeter crochet hook. It's actually a 4.5, but you can use a 5, especially if you're using like the uh, cotton yarn from Dollar Tree because it's a little bit on the smaller side. But I will be using Mainstays 100% cotton for this tutorial. You'll also need a tape measure to measure the bottom of your wine bottle. Because your wine bottle might be like Ivy's wine bottle and not a bottle but a jug. Um, or if you're going to make it out of a cup cozy, you'll need it to measure the bottom of your cup. And you'll need a pair of scissors, a tapestry needle to weave in your ends. Of course, you can do that after are ever how you take care of your ends you'll need a stitch marker because we will be working in the round on the bottom and i put ribbon through mine but you can put whatever you want through it you can crochet a chain if you want to and run through it and tie it off but i did put ribbon in mine um so it's only because i have a lot of ribbon that i need to use why i bought it i have no idea <laughs> something I seen and said, oh, I need that. I could use that for this, this, and no, I know why I bought it. To put in little girls' dresses around the waist when I crochet them. Everybody is speaking. But I will get y'all's uh, finished adding tonight, and I will get those links sent over to Mama J. And if any of the other mods want some, let me know, and I will send y'all all the links too. Um, thank you, Jessica, for coming by. I love this carton in sparkly teal and it's sparkly pink. Ooh, that's going to be so pretty, Kim. Y'all make sure when you make this, whether you make it out of a cup cozy or you do the actual wine thing, send us the picture and I will put you in the giveaway. You'll be making another beanie crown. <laughs> yep. We were we are going to be going up to 42 stitches for the bottom. So we're going to start out with a magic circle and do seven single crochets. Ivy, you are a mod. You're supposed to be a mod. Are you blue? You was in my mods. I, I wrote my mods down from my YouTube channel in, in my YouTube um, thing. And your name was in there. Girl, let me check and see if you blue. Because if not, that means I got to take your name out. <laughs> I got to remove your name out the bucket, honey. Ivy is my gen, yeah. Um, Lydia, one of the mods will drop his link. If you want your link, if you need your link drop, you want your link drop. Just put CC in the chat, and one of the moderators will drop it for you. That's why I'm doing a giveaway specifically for my mods, because I have a I have some amazing moderators. And some of y'all could be added. Um, what I do is I watch y'all. Um, I see how you interact with the other people in the chat. I also visit other lives and see how you act over there, too. Um, I do have one, um, and I'm going to start doing this.
this lady right here, Laura's Yarn Talk. She popped up live today, and I went over to her live. She didn't have very many people over there, but she's trying to get to 100 subscribers. She does have videos on her channel. She does crochet and stuff like that. I enjoyed her. She was very giddy um, and stuff, so I just dropped her link. Um, if we could now look. Don't mean you got to subscribe. Go check her out. Watch her videos. See what you think about her. And if you like what she's doing and you like her content or whatever, she's doing a lot of tutorials on different stitches and stuff. Hit that subscribe button and become part of her family. But um, I'm going to be getting a lot of... Ivy, you blue. You got your blue dress on. Um, I don't have very many mods, but the ones I got are wonderful and awesome. Um, I've got, Miss Debbie, you're not a mod. I will make some of my members a mod, but maybe not all of them, because I don't want to have a whole lot of mods. But uh, as long as I know you're good and you're not going to block people just to be blocking people, then I'll I'll make you a mod. So Miss Debbie, you should have your blue dress on too. I know you can't dance right now, but you can wiggle them toes. You can wiggle my your toes. Um, yes, ma'am. I turn I have to turn when I'm on a live. Anybody I want to make a moderator, I have to do it from my phone. So Yes, ma'am. It's called Laura's Yarn Talk. So, I love you too, Sarah. Sarah, I'm going to get you that thing, uh, that send you that pattern as soon as I get off this live. I have not forgot. I've been dealing with paperwork today and monitoring a load board all day. Can you say boring? But let me show y'all what I finished. I love it. I think it's wonderful. Will I make another one like this one? Probably not. Welcome in, Miss Diane. Welcome in. Do you, Miss Diane, um, I've got y'all's commands written down to put in Nightbot, but I have not been able to get them there yet. Because even if you are not a... Good evening, uh, Lady G. Even if you're not a content creator, you still... We want you to get to that 500 subscribers so you can have your community tab. Um, Connie, um... When you make the, if you make the wine bottle cover or you turn that into a cup cozy, send, send the picture to us or to me on Instagram, Facebook, or you can send it to the email, Yarny Fiber Sisters. I would rather any picture go to the Yarny Fiber Sisters email because um, my love everything crochet at Gmail, it gets so much stuff because things that I'm subscribed to related to crochet comes to there and all that other kind of stuff. And I don't want to miss nobody. So send it to the Yarny Fiber Sisters email, which is yarnyfibersisters at gmail.com. And um, you'll be entered into the giveaway. Yep. So my mods work hard. And in order for me to show my appreciation for them, they're in my bucket. And we're going to do a giveaway tonight. Right now, I want my moderators. The people that is in blue, put in the chat, what is your favorite hook size? Connie, we just do different giveaways. Um, if you make something that, like I do the craft hour and you make that, you send a picture, you go into a bucket, into a giveaway. I pull the name out of from all the, you know, the people that have actually sent pictures. And if your name is one, you win, you win a good prize. Normally, it's yarn. It might be uh, yarn with a hook and stitch markers and anything. All right. Sarah says five or six. Jen says six or J. 
Kim says 4.5. Miss Debbie is a 5 to a 5.5. Laura says five millimeters my go to. Oh, I got you now. Yes, yes, yes. We are. I'm always doing stuff to give back to y'all because without y'all, I wouldn't be doing this. Yes, I would. Even if I ain't never had nobody to come, I'd still do. <laughs> Any that will hook my pretty yarn. I hear you, Ivy. I hear you. That's the wine talking, ain't it? Maribel says a five millimeter. All right, so pretty much 5, 5.5, 5 and a 6. Good deal. Because tonight, and I know Sarah is in Canada, and I know Kim is in Canada, and that is fine, y'all are my moderators. That is fine. <laughs> because my moderators tonight, will win one of these furls. Streamline swirl. Now I don't know what what brand this is right here, but anywho, I know what brand it is. Is furls a streamline swirl? But I don't know what series this is. Welcome in, Christy. Welcome in. And I have a H, a I, I, and a J. So whoever wins, you get to pick your size out of a J, I, a H, I, or J. But don't worry, got something just as special for the Super Chat and Super Stickers tonight, too. So, yep, I sure do. Nice furls. So, if y'all ready to get started on the wine bottle cover, we can do so. Welcome in, Mama J. Welcome in. Mama J, I emailed you all of the um, the commands. All the ones in purples are members, and the ones in blue are my links, and then the ones in black are just random things. And we have our first super chat for tonight. And that is Miss Christy. Thank you so much. I'm not, I don't have my pom-poms, y'all. But we do have the super chat song. So Christy Creations. I have you wrote down. And you're going into the bucket. And I'm sticking with the same color. Now the other ones, they're um the ones from last night. I wrote them on these and put them in the bucket. You got them? Okay, good deal. So, yep. And let me play the, let's get, let's get our dancing shoes on right quick, y'all. time to get my pom-poms y'all we're gonna hit it one more time for miss debbie while i write her name down Thank you so much, Miss Debbie. I have you wrote down right there. And I see Aisha has super chatted. Let me write her down. There's Aisha. And here's your dance, darling. <laughs> And you are in the bucket, Aisha. Thank y'all so very, very much. 
Christy says she is at work lurking and peeping. <laughs> Thank you so much. Maribel is dancing and we got another one, y'all. Miss Ronell. Thank you so very much. So we're going to dance. All right. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Who did I miss coming in? Did I miss anybody coming in? All right. All right. I'll keep an eye. I got my phone pulled up. I'll keep an eye on the chat with that. And um, hey, Amy, welcome in, welcome in, welcome in, Amy. Fireworks, y'all, that's right. Look, all the stuff that I show at the beginning and during the live, that's all compliments of Veronica from Stills to Show Crochet and Shells. Mama J has my commands. She's dropping them. So if you see your command drop, make sure to write it down or remember it. That way, when you're in the chat, you can drop your own link just by hitting your commands. Yes, did Jen's asking, did she forget anyone that wanted their chat, their link dropped? If so, go ahead and put CC before we get started. And Mama J, that squad, that's for all my members. The shout out, that's for all my members. I really do appreciate y'all so very much. I really love this, this community. We, 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 we're the best. Amy, are you making the water bottle holder with us? I'm going to pull this up, the other camera. I'm going to add the other camera to the stream just so y'all can tell me whether or not y'all can see it or if it's too bright and do I need to uh, make any adjustments. Y'all good? I don't think, look, I'm getting more technology savvy, y'all. <laughs> Amy, you'll need some cotton yarn. It can be 85, 20. It could be half and half. It just, you know, the less cotton, the less absorption it will have. Okay. Lydia says it looks good to her. Rose, Rosie said it looks good. Laura said it looks good for now. Yeah, because you know how my internet, it looks. So far, this has been real good today, y'all. We don't want to jinx it. And those that are always coming to my channel, to my live, to the Yarny Fiber Sisters and everything, I will give y'all a command. Um, Jen said it was great last night too, yeah. Well, the webcam that I'm on is one that Veronica uses. And y'all, the thing was, and I don't know if Amazon still has them for that price. I will look after we get through with all this and let y'all know and put the link in the chat for y'all. They're $19.99, but they had a $10 off coupon, so it was $9.99. And I get reward point, rewards back. Um, So I don't think I paid anything for it. And I got one of my other ones. She recommended that stand that you part of it you see right here, but you don't see none of it in this part because that's what she uses to do her tutorials and stuff with. It wasn't nine dollars, <laughs> Amy. I'm gonna be using a 4.5 and I'm using Mainstays cotton. You got yours for two bucks, yeah. Jenny, can you make your hands big and small? Can y'all see my hands good enough? Now, I'm going to drop the camera down a little bit. I'm going to bring it down closer to me. Mm. While I'm sitting here, let me put some lotion on. Because I use uh, Bath and Body Works foam soap. 
and although it is wonderful and it cuts truck grease and everything watch me not be able to find my lotion y'all um it will and it smells good it will dry your darn hands out bad though You'll need a pair of scissors, a tape measure, a stitch marker, 4.5 millimeter crochet hook, some cotton yarn, um, a darning, a tapestry needle, and a pair of scissors. I might have said scissors. And depending on if you want to do ribbon or not, you can do ribbon or you can crochet a, a um, chain and put through it and tie it up with a crochet chain. It's just your preference. How fancy do you want it? I just I um I found some llama ribbon. It don't match the color yarn that I'm doing, but hey. Light brighter, please. I am a little blind. Ooh. That might be as bright as I can get it. But I'm gonna bring the camera down closer. I just have it up there now so y'all can see everything that you will need. And I have my notes. So we're going to start out with a magic circle and six, seven single crochets inside that magic circle. And we're going to increase by seven each time until we have 42 stitches. Now some of y'all might not need to go as high up. Um... It depends on how tight of a crochet you are. When I crochet stuff like this, I tend to crochet tight. Yeah. So I'm going to move the wine bottle out of the way. It's empty. My husband was going to throw it away, and I told him, don't throw that away. I can make a wine cover for that, and that's something I can do for my channel. Y'all can still see me good. Let me turn my phone this way so I can see the chat. Thank you, Lydia. Lydia says, I love your live chat and your video. I make cozies for my water bottle. Jen says, thank you, Maribel. I did get the... Hey, Miss Vicky, I didn't see you come in. Hey, Colleen, welcome in. I'm so sorry. Um, I did get it from Dollar Tree. <laughs> I got it from Dollar Tree. So, y'all, let's pray I don't get a yarn barf. Welcome in, Colleen. Single crochet seven. Yes, ma'am. And I'm using the mainstays. 100% cotton yarn. Uh, it's 180 yards. It's a medium four. This is so much like the, um, I love this cotton from... Hobby Lobby. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, this made in Turkey too. I didn't get a bad yarn bar, but I did get some. Machine wash cold, do not bleach, do not tumble dry, but I've done a swatch of stuff with this and I do dry it and it does not do anything to it. Magic circle, seven single crochets in the magic circle and uh, does everybody know how to do a magic circle? You need the tape measure to measure the bottom of your wine bottle or your cup, whichever one you're doing. Mine measured roughly three inches across the bottom. So, that's the only thing you need to tape measure for. And to measure up the side to see how far you need to go unless you're going to um, just try it on your cup or your wine bottle as you go. That's pretty much what I did. So we're going to, let me bring the camera down. Tilt it just a little bit. Can y'all see my hands good? Look at me starting with a slip knot. 
Now, I know people do their magic knots different. They usually do their first stitch on their, um, while it's still on their finger. So chain one. I don't never count that one that I do. I do my hook back and forth like that and it makes it tight around it. Chain one. And we're going to put seven singles in that magic circle. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Grab your tail and pull it closed. We're not going to slip stitch into the next one. We're just going to go right into the first one here. And we're going to put two single crochets into the first one. Now, if you're tight, like, tight crochet or like I am, you're going to have to work with it. <laughs> Once you get your first one made, this is where you want to put your stitch marker. And I got the dropsies. Place your stitch marker in that first stitch. Because we're working in the round on this part. And this is the only, doing the bottom is the only time you'll need your stitch marker. So two sing, we're going to work. Everybody got their seven single crochets. Sunita, I tried that. It won't, it says picture, in picture layout, press shift plus seven. Let me try that and see will that do it. It won't, it won't do it. I can do it that way. It won't even do that when I can do it that way. I can do it that way. Will that help? But it won't do me little bitty at the bottom on that one. For some reason, when I do that, it goes to that. I could remove me all together. Y'all just wouldn't be able to hear me or anything. <laughs> what about that? Is that better? Welcome in, Deneen. Welcome in. Obviously, yes. Okay. All right. So after you get your seven single crochets made, you're going to do one single crochet into the first single crochet. And then you're going to work one more single crochet into that same stitch. And we're going to work two singles in every single crochet all the way around. Welcome in, Miss Donna. Welcome in. And when you get to the end, you should have 14 single crochets. So just continue putting two single crochets in every single crochet until you get back around to your stitch marker. Kim said that's good. Told you, y'all going to get tired of me when I get that real good fiber optic internet. Y'all gonna tell me you don't need to be on YouTube as much. <laughs> That's why I don't release a lot of videos. Um, that one I just released about the hooks. It um took over two hours to upload. So I'm back at my stitch marker. Are y'all to your stitch marker? Okay, Trisha, thank you. And then you can remove your stitch marker. And you should have 14 single crochets. Let me cut that tail some. It's getting in my way. Bye. I'm even using my Dollar Tree scissors. Shift plus four layout. Let me see. That's that that does that. Let me let me try this, Anita. Hold on. Is that better? Let's 
How about that? I just had to reverse it. I had to put this camera up first and then take me and put me up second. Can y'all hear me? Danine is finishing up a dragonfly poncho. I will make a wine bottle holder and replay, but we'll just watch and listen right now. Well, thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, everybody got their 14 singles, so we're going to go now. Um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Wait a minute. 2, 4, 6, 8. 10, 12, 14. I can't count, y'all. Um, thank you, Sunita. We're going to go right into the next single crochet, and we're going to work two single crochets. Now, I, I always do my two first and then put my stitch marker. And then we're going to work one single crochet into the next single crochet. two single crochets into the next single crochet one single into the next so we're going to do two singles one single that's the repeat two singles in the next single crochet one single into the next one two singles into the next one and just Continue to do that until you get back to your stitch marker. And when you get to the end, you should have 21 stitches. And you should end with uh, one single crochet should be your last stitch that you do. And I didn't show y'all what I had did, did I? <laughs> I'll show y'all afterwards. It's so cute. I'm actually finna switch stitch markers because that one is getting hung up. I missed the first stitch on third round. Two singles, one single, two singles, repeat around. Thank you, Ivy. And when you get to your stitch marker, you should have 21 stitches. So 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 21. You should have 21 stitches. Now I'll give everybody time to get caught up to there. The next round will be two singles in the first single crochet, one single in the next two single crochets, and then two single crochets. So it'll be two, one, one, two, and then repeat. We are increasing, Kim. So you started out with seven. Then on the second round, you put two singles in each single crochet. You'll have 14 at the end. And then on the third round is two singles, one single, two singles, one single, around. So two singles in the first single crochet, one single in the next single crochet. Two singles in the next, one single in the next. And you will have 21 at the end of round three. Mama J, I don't know if you missed it, but I'm doing a moderator giveaway tonight, and it will be for a Streamline Swirl Furls hook. You will get whoever the winner is will get to pick their size, whether it's an I, J, or a H. H, I, or J.
And next week will be the last Tuesday of the month, and we will do our members giveaway. So two single, one single, then increase. Cotton yarn, Deneen. Cotton, cotton, cotton. If you're doing a cup, if you're going to turn it into a cup cozy, you really want cotton. For a wine bottle, I use the Premier Home Cotton to make this one, and it's $85.15. Um, I just don't like to hear the glass hit the glass in the refrigerator so and I don't have wine in my refrigerator now we haven't bought none in a while we don't we don't drink it every day And y'all, Kim and Linda is doing a um, knitted sock along. Sock, what is it? Sock a month? Pair of socks a month? They the knitters. <laughs> I'm going to have to get one of them to make me a pair because I don't knit. All right, everybody caught up to the third row? We're going to put two singles into the next single crochet, which is where your stitch marker should have been. So two singles. Place your stitch marker to mark the beginning of the next round. One single into the next single crochet one single into the next single crochet two singles into the next single crochet one single into the next single crochet one single into the next single crochet two singles into the next single crochet and you're just going to repeat that pattern all the way around okay sis melissa so one single in the next two single crochets two singles into the next one one single in the next two singles two singles into the next single and when you get to the end of this row you should have 28 single crochets each row is being increased by seven And y'all, it took me forever to figure out when you're working in the round, how do you know how many numbers you're increasing without having to sit there and count them? It's ever how many single crochets you start with in that magic circle. <laughs> That's how many increases you're going to have each round. So if you start with five, you will increase each round. Um, five times. Melissa Ronell says she's using the hooks like yours and she loves them too. Okay, 
Good, Kim. So once you make it to the end of four, you should have 28 single crochets. I have those hooks too, um, Ronell. I, um, mine might be a little different. Is it from the Yarn Yarnese Company? Like this? Welcome in, Michael. Welcome in. You're late, but you're here. You're never late to a live. As long as we still live. <laughs> this is what mine looks like. I love them. They're lightweight. They're boy style. And they work real good. All right, y'all caught up? Y'all through with row four? And on the next row, it'll be two singles in the next. Um, You like those? Yeah. Sunita says, hi, Sissy. You using them for your mosaic? Maribel says, hi, Michael. Mama J says, welcome in at Boho Hooker. <laughs> it used to be Michael Salinas, and she changed her name during the live last night. So for round five, we'll do two singles in the first single crochet, one single in the next three, two singles in the next one. So this one is going to be two singles and one single into the next three. And that will be the repeat around. And then when you get to the end of that, you will have 35 single crochets. So two single crochets into the first single crochet. And place your stitch marker in the first one. And I'm using the stitch markers that Alex made. Because I can't see good enough to do it. We'll have to call her back. <clears throat> so two in the first single crochet. And then we're going to do one single crochet into the next three single crochets. So one. Two. Three. Then two in the next single crochet. One, two, one in the next three. Welcome in, Samaya. You lurking on my Roku. My phone needs to charge. Lord, you got me on the big screen. <laughs> so we got three. Then we do two, one, and two. Then one single crochet in the next three single crochets. One, two, then one single crochet in the next three. One, two, three, and then one, two, then one single crochet in the next three. And then we do two single crochets in the next single crochet. One single crochet in the next three. Two singles in the next single crochet. One single in the next three, which should be your last three stitches. So we start with two and end with one single. 
and you should have 35 single crochets at the end of round one two three four five Welcome in, Miss Beverly Lee Creates. Welcome in, darling. Miss Beverly, I have not had any of that buttermilk cornbread lately. <laughs> I say that every time she comes in, y'all, because she says she loves to hear me say buttermilk cornbread. See, I make it easy. The only thing you got to do is hit exclamation thumbs. Everyone, please make sure to hit the thumbs up to show love and support. Thank you all so much. I'm on the right track. Good job, Kim. Good job. If I made this, I know y'all can do it. I, I mean, I made it. <laughs> it's simple. It's easy. It's not hard. But the pattern... Um. Instead of it being in in the little squares, it was like in the where the chain you chain three or four, and that was causing increases. And so I modified the stitch pattern to make it work. So I I wrote my notes down. I just forgot to. Um, you waiting for the side, Miss Ronell? You done? So for round six, we're going to work two singles into the first single crochet and one single into the next four singles, then two singles in the next stitch, then four, uh, one single into the next four. So now it's two singles and one single crochet in the next four, all the way around. And when we get here, you should have 42 stitches, one and two. And put my stitch marker. Welcome in, OVW. Welcome in. And then we're going to do one single crochet into the next four, two, three, four, two singles into the next single crochet. One single into the next four single crochets. That's two, three, and four. Two singles into the next one. And one single into the next four single crochets. Two, three, and four. Two singles into the next one. One single into the next four. Two singles into the next one. And one single into the next four. Two. One single in the next four. Two singles into the next single crochet. And we should have four singles left and one single crochet in each one of those last four stitches. And you should have 42 single crochets at that point. Now you can check it and see at this point. Either you probably got to go to a hundred and something stitches, baby, with your jug. And put it on there just like that. Now, I know this is not quite as wide as mine. But we're fixing to go around with one row of just single crochets all the way around. 
and then we're going to do another row of singles in the back loop only so we're going to add just two rows of single crochets um one just regular single crochet the first row will be just regular singles all the way around so 42 single crochets and then the next one okay miss rosie good night we will do the last round one two three four five round seven is just one single crochet all the way around round eight will be one single crochet in the back loop only of every stitch all the way around welcome in miss deborah with delphine's handcrafted welcome in so y'all through around six And we're going to put one double, one single crochet all the way around. Put my stitch marker there. And we will have 42 single crochets at the end of round seven. Single crochet around 42 single crochets. Thank you so much, Ivy. Mama J has dropped uh, Marcel, which is OVW, which stands for One Virtuous Woman, Link. She was up on the panel last night and showed us the hooks that she made. Sandrine showed her hooks that she made for her. Sunita showed the hooks that she made for her and cups. So, make sure to get with her if you want some resin hooks they are beautiful I have took today to think about what I want I've got it and I will be messaging her when I get off of this live all right, I got one more to go, and I'm back at my stitch marker. Okie dokie. Now we're going to work at the end of round seven. You should still have 42 stitches, and we are going to work one single crochet in the back loop only all the way around. So we should still have um, 42 stitches. So go in the back loop. And work one single crochet all the way around and this will be the last time that we use our stitch marker row 8 single crochet and back loop only around 42 single crochets And you could take this very same thing and make plastic bag holders. Um, you would just start with a ponytail holder at the end. The small um, ponytail holders. And you would just work your single crochets around it and then just go up and um, of course you would want it to be wider than this. You would want to do more single crochets, but you could definitely make a 
plastic bag holder out of this very same stitch. <clears throat> I think I've had too much coffee today. I'm shaking a little bit. And what that's going to do is make it come up. That makes it come up. Now what I did when I got to that point, I just flattened it out. Was I set my wine bottle on it. And that's gonna come up perfect around it. So unless you got a jug like Ivy, <laughs> you're making it right, so. Let me straighten my camera back up. I bumped it with that wine bottle. And it would also be good for this, my coffee cup too, see? So, and that may be what I do tonight is, well, no, because I got to show y'all how to do the whole top part. Yeah. Baby gnomes. Hey, Chris, welcome in. I probably missed you coming in. Miss Vicky says, Ivy, you're doing a great job. Yes, you are. If anybody has anything coming up on their channel that they want to announce, be sure to put it in the chat. And everybody through with round eight. While I'm waiting to get the confirmation, I'll show y'all what I made. I'm going to take my camera up so y'all be able to see it all. Now, this took me five days to do, y'all. But I like it. This is my crochet hook thing that I made. I put a piece of fabric on the back just to have it for, to make it more sturdy. And I used that, um fabric fusion stuff that you iron down then peel the paper off and put your fabric on there and iron it down on there and then I know um, Veronica showed hers and she hung her stitch markers up there I said well I want a pocket on mine where you can put a tape measure and all that stuff in it so you put your tape measure in there I even put a, a silver bobbin on it to button it up i got stitch markers actually this is the same stitch used to make my um stitch marker wall hanger so i did that then i made this strip and put it down there i got this this is secured and this is secured this is not and this is not and i didn't want my hooks to all be covered up so what i did was just made another strip secured it here and my 5.5 go my five millimeter goes there and it you can put more hooks in there that's just all i put in there And then you fold it over. 
and I put two straps on mine. Oh, and I put a um uh, a uh, uh, cactus button to go along with the um llama fabric. And there it is. Thank y'all, thank y'all. Will I make another one exactly like that? Probably not. Coulda? Yeah. But probably not. Okay, everybody done round eight. You like my closure, Jen? Yeah. I see a purse design. <laughs> oh, Jen, you're fine. Yep. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're actually going to join with a slip stitch to the first single crochet. And we're going to work one double crochet and we're going to put them in the back loop too all the way around for 42 doubles now i chain one and work a double crochet we're done with our stitch marker so we're going to work one double crochet in the back loop only all the way around for 42 double crochets So one double crochet in the back loop only all the way around. And then for those that crochet fast, the next round is just going to be one double crochet through both loops all the way around. So row nine is one double crochet in the back loop only all the way around. And I need to pull my camera back down. And make sure that you do not work into your slip stitch right there. Because if you work into your slip stitch, you're adding a stitch. You're going to join to the top of your first double crochet with a slip stitch. And we have 42, 42 double crochets around. And that's the reason why I did them in the back loop too. Because it helps bring it on up your bottle.
for row 10 is going to be chain one and work a double crochet into the same stitch and then just work one regular double crochet all the way around for row 10. No more back loops once you get through with row 9. Sarah says, laugh out loud, Chris. Always two loads of laundry, partial pattern written today, just making coffee, doing a video of my newest pattern for the testers. Partial uploaded, working on the next five rows. Wow, Sarah, you've been busy. Row 10 is one double crochet through both loops all the way around, and you should still have 42 double crochets when you make it back to the beginning. Besides work, what did everybody do today? Seems like I'm not going to never get back to the end. And then join with a slip stitch. And I'll give everybody time to get caught up. Ivy, I would show you, but um, I don't have a 4.5 in the furls, and I don't like furls. But I can put them on the camera for y'all to look at while we work. There you go. See them? And Jen says she needs that new furls hook to go faster. All right. It's this simple from here on out. Okay, Miss Debbie, take your time. Take your time. I'll make a few announcements that I forgot to make at the beginning. Um, don't forget, uh, this will be my last Tuesday live. And I will be going to Mondays at 6 p.m. Central Standard Time starting next Monday on the 21st. I know I said Tuesday last while ago for the um, members giveaway. It's actually going to be the 21st, which is President's Day and Family Day for Canada. So, welcome in, Chandra. Welcome in. How are you? And we're going to be doing a moderator giveaway and a super chat and super sticker giveaway tonight. Um, moderators will be able to pick one of those furls and i'm looking to see what other ones i have up there for the super chat and super stickers let me know when y'all get through with round 10 and we will move on Chandra, what you been working on? You been making any more dolls? 
If I'd have used the five millimeter, I could have showed y'all with the furrow. No, I couldn't because I wouldn't even be where I'm at now. <laughs> I wouldn't be done with row 10. I'd probably still be back on row five. I'm good, Chandra. I am good. Welcome in, Samantha. All right, Miss Debbie, you done with row 10 yet? Finished. All right. So for row 11, we're going to chain one. And work one double crochet into the same stitch. And this row will be repeated for the next three rows. We are going to chain two, skip two, and work a double crochet into the third stitch. So it's one double crochet, chain two, skip two, and one double crochet into the next stitch. Chain two skip two and one double crochet into the next stitch chain two skip two and one double crochet into the next stitch chain two skip two and one double crochet into the next stitch we're going to repeat this row for a total of three rounds and you're going to work every double on top of every double so chain two skip two and double into the next one chain two skip two and double in the next chain two skip two double crochet into the next stitch chain two skip two and one double into the next chain two skip two and one double Chain two, skip two, and one double into the next. Chain two, skip two, and work one double into the next. Chain two, skip two, and work one double. You should be left with two double crochets at the end, and you're going to chain two, and you're going to slip stitch to the top of your first double crochet that you make. And you should have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 double crochets. I'll just use my cup. And this is how it's coming. Coming on along. Oh, move my hands into the camera. Move the camera closer. How's that, Sunita? Is that better? Let me know when y'all finish round 11. Round, round 12 would be the same as round 11. Do I need to repeat 11? One double, chain two, skip two, double in the next. Chain two, skip two, double crochet into the next.
Let me know when y'all are done with round 11. Is that better, Sunita? Miss Debbie's finished. Everybody ready to move on? Y'all probably just going on without me, ain't you? What, at the end of row 11, you're going to chain one and double crochet into that same double crochet. Chain two. Skip the chain two space and work in the top of that double crochet. One double crochet. Chain two. Skip the next chain two space and work one double into the top of the next double. Chain two. Skip that double two that chain two space and work a double crochet into the top of the next double. And repeat that all the way around for row 12. And for row 13, it's going to be the exact same thing. Everybody's crocheting and not chatting. <laughs> and when you get to the last double crochet, you'll chain two and slip stitch to the top of that first double crochet. Just like that. It looks like it's drawing in, but it's it fits. See. And you want to repeat this row one more time for a total of three rounds. So for round 13, it'll be a chain one. Oh, I don't hear you. <laughs> Double crochet into the first one. Chain two. Skip the chain two space and work one double in the top of the next double. Chain two. Skip the chain two space and work one double in the top of the next double. Chain two. Skip the chain two space and work a double in top of the double. And do that all the way around. And in the actual stitch pattern for this, you work, you chain four, I want to say. And you skip three. And you worked a single. So I just modified. I modified this part of it, but all the other stitches are from the stitch. And I'm going to go through my book and figure out and put it in the description box which book I got it from and what page it's on for those that might have the book. Okay, and I'm at the end of that round. Amy, where'd you leave off at?
Lord looked at myself on my phone. I wasn't moving and I did this because I thought I was froze. <laughs> but my phone is not playing. <laughs> second row chain two skip two. Yeah. Second row ch uh, two. Chain two skip two. Work a double crochet on top of the doubles. And you're going to do that for three rounds. Now on the row, what is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Row 14 is going to be a little bit different. Your seems wide, Miss Debbie. You got a cup or your wine bottle that you need to try it on? It should look like this. Let me lay it flat. This is how it should look. You have your bottom, two rows of double. And then three rounds of um, what I call mesh stitch, where you do a double chain two, skip two, a double. Oh, loose. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, for row 14, we're going to slip stitch into the chain two space. Chain three, and we're going to work two double crochets in that chain two space for a total of three doubles. Your chain three is going to count as a double. So three doubles in that chain two space. Then we're going to skip the double. And we're going to work three doubles into the next chain two space. And we will repeat that all the way around. Skip the next double and work three doubles into the next chain two space. Skip the next double and work three doubles into the chain two space. Skip the double and three double crochets into the next chain two space. So work slip stitch into your chain two space and work three double crochets in every chain two space. All the way around. And I literally think I chained too many right there. Whoops. I missed a double. <laughs> Two. And three. Skip that double crochet and work three doubles into the next chain two space. And three doubles into the last chain two space. And you're going to join with a slip stitch to the top of that third chain of the first double. Join with a slip stitch. Now I try to go through both loops when I do that, but I don't, sometimes it's hard to get it in there. So. 
Row 14, slip stitch into chain two space, work three double crochets, skip the next double crochet, and work three double crochets in the next chain two space, and repeat that around. I'm going to slip mine into my cup. And that's what it looks like. Right there. I love how this mainstays cotton works up. It has pretty stitch definition. Party, party. Let me know when y'all finish with round 14. Let me send her a message that I'll call her when I'm done with the live, y'all. While I'm waiting on everybody to catch up, I'm going to show y'all something that a little bit of everything has created and designed on her own. It is mosaic. And y'all, it is so, so beautiful. And I'm going to show y'all from this camera. Look at that. Can y'all see that good? Look how pretty. Look at the butterflies, y'all. So pretty. Yes, that is beautiful. And that is from Liz, a little bit of everything. And when we get done with this, I'll show it on the big camera because we don't have much more to do. Because after this next row, um, I'll tell y'all what to do after that. And we'll just crochet it together. How about that? Ronell said, I want a copy of that pattern. <laughs> that It is. It's beautiful. And I love how, yes, those are butterflies, Maribel. And when we're done with this, I'll show it on the other camera so y'all can see it bigger. She has one butterfly going up and one coming down. They're so gorgeous. So gorgeous. It is beautiful. And then the flowers and the butterflies are like flying around the flowers. Trying to decide which one they want to land on and steal the pollen from.
trying to get back to my chat. There we go. Right, M Michael. That's going to be beautiful. She says she's making it this week. Yes. I'm telling y'all, Mosaic is addictive. Y'all know Veronica's designing her own designs too. That pattern that she has, that she created, I'm going to use that to do my grandbabies blankets out of my my granddaughter's blankets out of because i like how it's got the uh i might incorporate a couple of more designs with it but um i want those flowers and the butterflies to be at the bottom and at the very top and then something else in the middle so right we 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 making that <laughs> Okay, for the next round, which is round 15, we're going to chain one. And we're going to work one double crochet into the same space. One double crochet into the next double crochet. And we're going to chain one skip one and work one double crochet into the next two double crochets chain one skip one and work one double crochet into the next two double crochets chain one skip one one double crochet into the next two double crochets chain one skip one one double crochet in the next two chain one skip one one double crochet into the next two chain one skip one and one double crochet into the next two double crochets chain one skip one and one double crochet into the next two double crochets chain one skip one and one double crochet into the next two double crochets so repeat that all the way around Oh, I also got the yarn in the freezer in there. We got to put it to the test, y'all. Hey, Miss BJ, welcome in. When you get to the end, you should have one double crochet left. After you do your chain, your two doubles, you will chain one, skip that double, and join with a slip stitch to the top of that first one. And once we're done with this, I'll take it out and we'll frog the other that's not been in the freezer. And then we'll frog the one that's been in the freezer. I did it, y'all. <laughs> Liz messaged me today and asked me how to put the yarn in the freezer yet. And I told her, oh, thank you. Shoot, no. So it's been in there probably about six hours now. <laughs> yeah, welcome in, Miss VJ. Welcome in, darling. Let me know when y'all finish row 15. And for those that may be through a row 15, row 16 is just going to be... um one double crochet in each double crochet and one in the chain one space that's all so after you join with your slip stitch chain one work one double crochet 
one double crochet into the next double crochet double crochet into the chain one space and then one double crochet in the top of the next two double crochets double crochet in the chain one space and just repeat that all the way around And at the end of every row, you should still have 42 stitches. Don't forget your chain one space at the very end. And then join with a slip stitch when you're done. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, If you wanted to stop there as a cup cozy or do one more row. If you if you're making it for a cup this size, which is a 20 ounce tumbler, I would repeat the row that we just did. Uh the pre the row before this one where we just did the, the two chain one, two chain one, two. And um, if you wanted to put ribbon on it, you could repeat it one more time. That row one more time. Right here. This row. Because this is the last row that we'll do before we do the, um, the little shell stitch. And this is where the ribbon will go through here. So if you're done and you just want it for a cup cozy and you want it a little bit higher repeat this row and go up with it and this is it on the wine bottle and of course if your wine bottle was full <laughs> it was going it's going to cause it to stretch and pull because of the weight. So. Y'all hear them furrows rolling around. They getting in my way. And that's why I did singles on the bottoms. Because it's more. More sturdy than half doubles. Or double crochets. So. But that's how it should look on the bottom. Just like that. Okay, for the next round, we're going to repeat this mesh round for two times, two rows this time. So chain one, double crochet into the same stitch, chain two, skip two, and double crochet into the next double, chain two, skip two, and double into the next one. 
chain two, skip two, and double crochet in the next stitch. And repeat that all the way around. And then repeat that row one more time. And if you wanted to take this on up past the neck of the bottle and put a handle on it, you could. Join with a slip stitch. Chain one, one double crochet into the next, and that same double crochet, chain two, and work, skip your chain two space and work a double crochet into the next double. And repeat that for two rounds, just like that. Jen said if I need to get oh sorry for bumping the camera y'all Jen said if I need to get them furls out my way I'm ready to receive them <laughs> I will keep them from rolling around yeah they'll roll in your hand crocheting huh chain two and just continue that and I will meet y'all when y'all have done the two rounds of the mesh stitch what I call the mesh stitch Yarn split on me. And let me know when y'all have completed your second round of the mesh stitch. Sandrine says, Jen, those are mine. There we go. Yeah, I'm crocheting a lot tighter than I was, but it, it's still going to work out the same way. Because what I did when I made mine, I pretended the bottle was full of wine. And I stretched it up like that. So the stitches would be more defined. Because we have one, two, three, four more rows to go. <laughs> Sandrine said, Jen, those are mine, LOL. So cute. Let me know when y'all done with your second round of mesh stitch. And we will move on. My cup empty. Ronell said thumbs up. Everybody else caught up?
Okay, Ivy. No problem. Yep, I just can't. I think it's the position of where they made it fat at. You know, Veronica calls these the fat hooks. And with me being a pencil holder, I can't find that comfort. I have to hold it like this. Like this. To crochet with it. And it makes my hand go to sleep really, really fast. They concentrate in Sandrine. Water break. Take your water break. Yep. So. And I gave all my Feral Odysseys away. Except for the one that um, Tiffany from It's Ezra sent me. I can't give it away. Water break, water break. Yeah. I don't it, if they would have just not made it so fat here and brought that down a little bit, it would have been okay. But and one thing I learned about trying to work with the furls, you had to find that magic spot to hold the head of that hook in order to be able to work with it. And it's an incline hook, like the Susan Bates. So, I honestly don't think I've ever used these. But I did my research trying to find something that was good for people who have corporal tunnel and their hands hurt and fall asleep and stuff and these popped up and i read all the reviews and everything else and i said well i'm gonna give them a try i should have just bought one i bought from a j down to a 3.75 3.25 of the furls odyssey the gold tone, but I did get them on sale. I bought, I think, 10 of their wood ones. And I got three of these. I got seven of the Streamline Swirls total. I said, well, let me try them and see. Hmm. When they had to sell, that's when I bought them. Ronell said, I can't use pearls either. I'm a pencil holder too. I don't know what my phone was trying to say. I understood what you what you were saying, uh, Ronell. It said, I can't believe we curls either. I'm a pencil holder too. Lady G, you concentrating arthritis kicking in tonight. Yeah, take your time. Amy, you caught back up? Good deal. And we got a super chat. Super chat, super chat. I'm gonna play the music right quick and let it everybody else get caught. And there you go, Amy. You're going into the bucket. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh. Oh, y'all welcome, y'all welcome. 
you want to get one of the Aquarius? Are you an Aquarius, Jen? Or you just like it because it's pretty? Sandrine, you was gifted the Aquarius hook from all of Joe. Wow. All right. For the next round, we're going to slip stitch into our chain two space. And we're going to repeat the three double crochets in every chain two space around. So chain three. And work two doubles into the neck into the chain two space for a total of three. Skip this double crochet and work three doubles into the next chain two space. And repeat that all the way around. So three doubles in every chain two space. Now, Miss Vicky, yes, the furls would definitely be good for they're good, they're wonderful for knife holders. Even the furls Odyssey with them being real heavy is good for knife holders. Oh uh, yeah, so that was your birthday, Sandrine. That's nice. I think that's why I bought them because of how they looked. If they ever come out with a cancer one, I'll probably buy one just to have because I'm a cancer. And then again, I probably won't. I don't like having stuff that I'm not going to work with. Now, I've got stuff that I won't work with that I bought to do reviews on to let y'all know about. Once you've done three doubles all the way around, you're going to join with a slip stitch to that third, to the top of that third chain of our chain three at the beginning. So just keep on around until you get to the end and let me know when y'all done. Um, these are the other, other ones I got. I got the rainbows um, set. No, I didn't get the set. Uh, again, H, I, and J in the rainbow. And I don't know which one this one is, but this one is a 6.5. I don't know what series it is. That one's a 6.5. And then this is the nickel plated furls that was gifted to me by Tiffany. And it's a 5.5. Wish they had better ergonomic hooks for pencil holders. Yeah. They just don't, um, Delilah. I mean, Crystal. They do not. It might be Andromeda, Jen. It might be. Now, the thing about the Furl's Odyssey, these are really heavy hooks. I'm, I'm talking heavy. Look. Nah, uh, heavy. Heavy, heavy. Yeah. Um, these are weighted. Balanced. You can put it on your finger and it, it stays on your finger. So they're, the weight of them are balanced. And 
for pencil holders, they say it's, it's really, really, for knife holders, it's real good because of, of the balance in the weight. But again, I'm a pencil holder and it, the weight of the hook is resting right here. And it causes my hand to go completely numb. Maribel said, are we on round 19? Yes, ma'am. 19. Yeah. And I hate, I mean, I don't. I don't personally like give welcome in HD. Welcome in. How have you been doing? Um, personally like giving stuff away that people have gifted me. That's just that's just me. But I bought these and these, so I can give these away, right? <laughs> I can give all those away. And I thought about not giving these away, but I'm going to give them away. They're purple, blue, green, yellow, orange, and red. That They did that in collaboration with um, Mr. Domestic. Um, he's a hoot. He's on Instagram. They did that in collaboration with him for um, Pride Month. <laughs> Uh, Michael says, you can give them to me. Yeah, the rainbows are pretty. But this is only 6.5 that I have. You love the Swirl Hooks HD, but never use the Odyssey. Yeah. So, when it comes to the moderators giveaway tonight, y'all will have a choice of one of those. And then when I do the Super Chat and Super Sticker giveaway tonight, y'all be able to pick one too. Yum, yum. I want some pearls. Sandrine want the rainbow one. H. And I'm going to do these. I'll probably do them every week until, I, until they're all gone. Knife hold is supposed to be more ergonomic, but very few hooks are made for pencil holders. As long as it's like this right here, I'm good. It's just the, it's the way these are made that I can't get used to. Sarah says, yum, yum. I want some furls. Boho Hooker just did a super chat. That is Michael. Let's play the music. Everybody else can get out. All right. There we go. That's your name, Michael. Uh, Kim Sarah asked, did you, yeah, um, did you get her email? And in the bucket, it goes. And Sandrine is dropping commands. Anything y'all see from Nightbot, read it. Um, click that blue link, check everybody out. If it's somebody that you're interested in, so make sure to hit that, um, subscribe button.
turn your notification bell to all now if y'all i'm posting a lot on community on the community tab so if you don't have your notification bell set to all you're not going to get to post on the community tab either so and that's not just for my channel that's for anybody's channel y'all follow so make sure to turn that bell to all and if you're not getting notifications from channels that you know you were getting them from you can try one of two things click on your bell and go to personal then go back to all if that don't work you may have to unsubscribe and resubscribe. Yes, Miss Vicky, I still use those two, the ones that I called the fake tulips. And I do have a review on these on my YouTube channel. Those, these were $11.99 a set. And they look like the Clover Soft Touch. Now, these are actual Clover Soft Touches. I don't know if y'all can see it or not, but Clover is right. Probably not. It's probably going to blow it out. Right there. Clover is right there. All of these are wonderful hooks, except for this darn six millimeter. Yeah, YouTube, you when YouTube gets on their kick, Miss Deborah, they'll unsubscribe you from people that you are a member of. So. Keep a check on the people that you are sub to and that you follow all the time and stuff to make sure YouTube haven't kicked you out. That's the reason why your subscriber numbers go up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down, because YouTube will unsubscribe you from channels. Now, see, Miss Vicky, that's my problem with the actual real clovers because this part right here is like butter i mean your hand just just slides all over and you can't find a grip so that's what this is supposed to be for yes it's good for knife holders perfect for knife holders knife holders because that's where they put their thumb but even it's not grippy grippy compared to the fake ones see i'm i'm pushing just as hard and see my thumb just keeps sliding now this is the real clover this the fake one but my thumb's not sliding as much on the fake one so and this is not as slick as the real one and these are a tad bit longer and these have more of a pointy head on them than the the clover and they're cut a little bit deeper too and i can hold these and my hands stay in one spot and i like them but these they slide everywhere and i i just and because of that i don't crochet with them but when i seen them on you on amazon youtube i said them look just like the fur uh the clover soft touch because that's what these are called the clover soft touch but they're not i mean yeah they're fine they crochet wonderful it's just this six right here has a little roughness to the metal portion of it to where it's not um smooth and it causes the yarn to drag it's horrible and i don't know what i could get to smooth it out to be able to use it but i like them and i know every pack you get won't be like that and all the hooks will be fine and you might get a pack that two of them might be messed up that's just you know when you order stuff online that's a gamble that you take 
That's why I try to keep it to a minimum amount of what I'll spend online. And I'm going to show you another hook I got that I don't like. These are the prims. Soft touch. Now I love the other prims that are like the ones you get from Hobby Lobby. But I don't like these. I don't know. They, I mean, the knife holders would probably like them. But I don't like them. And I got them because somebody else said they were good. And they had them on sale on Amazon. And they came as a set. And this is the set of them. I may end up giving these away at my 3K giveaway. They were still like, I think like 20 something dollars. I'm trying to see what all size. They come in weird sizes. 4.54. 4. And a 2.5. I mean, they're pretty. <laughs> Very fine sandpaper is best or emery board may work. I'm going to try that, Jen. I mean, Maribel. How long is the shaft of that orange one? This one? Kim, you like your prim soft touch? I don't know. We can measure it, Jen. Let me put my tape measure up. Let me get it out. Uh, from head to the end of it is five and a half inches. Just the orange part is three and three quarters. Um, nothing but the furrows, VJ, Miss VJ. Those are the only ones that are like a furrows. I mean, like a um Susan Bates. These are all like boy. And the 6.0, it's got a really, really big head and more rounded. Um, so I need to, I need to work with them a little bit more and see. Or I just need to put them in a little case and give them away. But that's them. I mean, they're beautiful hooks. I love the colors of them. Okay, Miss Debbie. I hope everything's okay. Hook part shaft. Well, let's measure it. It's kind of short. From the tip. About one and three quarters inches yeah miss debbie hope everything's okay now i normally wouldn't do this but i'm gonna work with this 4.5 on the rest of this now what we're gonna do for row 20 is chain one and we're gonna work one double crochet all the way around i can't even get it in the hole Maybe this was a bad batch. <laughs> Maybe the mold got messed up on these. It's 
So one double crochet all the way around to the end. And I think the reason I don't like the furls because you see how far back I hold my hoop. <laughs> Sandrine said that's a virgin hoop. I um I think that's the reason why I can't get used to the furls because of them being so big right where I want to hold them at. as a pencil holder yeah i've tried knife hold i just can't get it i have actually practiced knife hold and everything else i just now if i'm working with real thick yarn and a big hook I may switch over to knife hold periodically throughout, depending on the stitch that I'm working on. But other than that, I'm strictly pencil. It might just take me some time to get used to these. Y'all see it slows me down crocheting. I think they had these on sale for like $25 for the set. Once you make your last double crochet, join with a slip stitch to the top of the first one. Just like that. And it looks like it's wider in places because of those mesh stitches, y'all. <laughs> and let's slip the wine bottle in and just show you. Where we are. There we go. And we got one more row to do, which is going, once you stretch it, it's going to put it right at that neck ring. I'm going back to my clover. <laughs> Good night, Maribel. I'm sure you would, Sarah. After row 20, we're going to chain one and work one double crochet. In the first two double crochets, chain one, skip one, and work two doubles into the next, one double into the next two doubles. Chain one, skip one, and work one double into the next two. Chain one, skip one, and work two doubles. And repeat that all the way around.
we eliminated a row. Well, we didn't eliminate a row. We switched them around. And join with a slip stitch. Just like that. And now we're going to top off. Now, if you need to keep going, but you shouldn't. Most wine bottles are the same height. Yours just may have been more round than mine. And for the last row, we're going to slip stitch over to the chain one space. And we're going to chain three. And we're going to work seven double crochets into that chain one space. Four, five, six, and seven. Now this part wasn't part of the pattern. And if y'all need to get caught up, I will give y'all time and repeat what I just did. Good night, Maribel. Thank you for being here. And y'all don't forget that Thursday, Veronica will be going live at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 4 p.m. Central Standard Time instead of 12 p.m. And we're going to slip stitch into the next chain one space and work seven double crochets into the next chain one space. Four, five, six, and seven. Skip the next two doubles slip stitch into the next chain one space and work seven doubles into the next chain one space slip stitch into the next chain one space skip the two doubles and work seven doubles into the next chain one space and this is just going to add a little ruffle to the top of it slip stitch in the next chain one space skip the next two doubles and work seven doubles into the next chain one space Slip stitch in the next chain one space and put seven doubles in the next chain one space. And just continue that till you get to the end. And seven. Slip stitch. And then seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And slip stitch into the last 
chain one space and then slip stitch to the top of the next um to the top of the third to the top of the third chain chain one and cut your yarn and you can weave your end in whenever you're done now for the ribbon if you want ribbon you're going to take your ribbon if i can get the plastic off of it why they have to make stuff difficult And just cut your piece as long as you think you'll need. And in these chain two chain one spaces, you're just gonna weave it in and out. And where my what I did was on the back side here where we joined, I started there. And went like that and just pushed it through each chain one space all the way around now, I know this yarn this ribbon does not go with this yarn I did it on one side, so many chain one spaces. Then I did it on the other side. Now I'm going to take care of the tail, y'all. go through and back up like that then you slip your wine bottle on in and stretch it up just like that to the to the skinny part of the hook of the neck and then pull your ribbon tight and then tie it in a bow and when you get it tied you can tighten it on up and that causes your shell stitches to make like a little ruffle around it and then finish your bow and it's twisted you gotta come there we go I've never been a good bow maker <laughs> my girls always wore bows that was bought not made in their ponytail try this again yeah and get my ribbon straight the same length rather all right 
tie this in a bow. Told y'all I'm not a ribbon tire. Y'all probably can tie a better ribbon than I can. There you go. Just like that. And you're done. Now, if you did a cup cozy, you're not going to have as much as we had. Woohoo, Jan said. Woohoo. All right, Miss Debbie had to go because she had an emergency. All right. We're fixing to do the super chat. Uh, not the super chat. The mods. The mod mods. Let me show y'all better. See. And like I said, you could turn this into a um, plastic bag holder. You just use a ponytail holder at the bottom and work your single crochets around it and make more to make it a little bit wider. Thank y'all, thank y'all, thank y'all. And um, I got to sew my end, weave my end in. And it'd make a good plastic bag holder too. And then you would put you could put one up at the top too, but use a bigger ponytail holder. That way your bags don't fall out. So. Uh, all right. Mods. My, my, mods. All right. You welcome, Kim. Y'all ready to see? Y'all ready to see who it might be? Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Lord, I can't get my paper open. Lord, how mercy. <laughs> Y'all are not going to believe this. You're welcome, Miss Vicky. Jen said, good luck, every mod. Who y'all think it is? Who y'all think it is? Now, y'all see all the paper in there yellow. Not this. N not this. <laughs> you can send it to Instagram, Facebook, Messenger, or you can send it to Yarny Fiber Sisters at Gmail Ivy. <laughs> Who y'all think it is? Sarah says me. Jen says Sandrine. Sandrine says. VJ says Sandrine. <laughs> it's Jen. But that's okay because we're going to do another one. So, Jen, what size do you want?
Uh, Vicky said, V. No, V don't like these hooks. Let me know what size you want, Jen, and which one you want. You want the rainbow or you want the um she don't need a man now. <laughs> Let me know which one you want, Jen. And her name is not in the bucket no more. It's over here on this table that we was just underneath on the other camera. Jen, you can't have them all, darling. Just, just. <laughs> Did y'all show that blue? I didn't, but it's a 6.5. It's a K. 6.5. VJ says she's fainted. <laughs> um, I have two I's, two H's, and two J's. You want that one? You want the 6.5? All righty. All right, what I'm going to do now, instead of doing another mod right now, we're going to do a Super Chat Super Sticker. And we're going to see, we're going to let them pick one. And she's not here. It was Queen Nadira. But she's not here. So I'm going to pull her out. And we're going to pick another one. Is Jeannie still here? I seen Jeannie's name and thought I have to put myself in there. So let's pull somebody else. Oh, thank you, Connie. Let's see what we got here. Is Rose still here? I'll tell you what, we'll redo that. Oh, Rose is here. And Rose, you're in Canada too, aren't you? But I will send you one of these. H-I-R-J. Let me know what size you want and which one. You want the rainbow or you want the, you want these, one of these or one of these? Mm. One of each, she said five millimeter. The 
okay. All right, back to the mods. And Jen, you're not in this one. <laughs> Let's see who we got. <gasps> Ivy! You won! You won, you won, you won! You shot the BB gun! Is Ivy gone? Do I need to pick another one? Do I need to pick another mod? Ivy gone. <laughs> Ivy drunk too more too much wine before the live. Welcome in, Miss Tina. Welcome in. OMG, so happy. Okay, so the five in this is gone. I have the I, the J, and the H in the rainbow. And I have the J and the I in these. So which one do you want, Ivy? Sunita says, wake up, Ivy. <laughs> which one do you want? Uh, Miss Tina, these are for Super Chat and Super Stickers. Giveaway. Your choice, please. Okay, I'll surprise you. And I'm going to do one more Super Chat and Super Sticker one. And then I'll save the other ones for next week on the Members Giveaway. She wants the J in purple. This one. That's really not purple. That's like a like mauve and pink, pink colors. All right. We're going to pick one more super chat. And this time, if I pick somebody who's not here, I will just go with it and I will send it to them in the mail and they'll be surprised, won't they? But that didn't happen. Unless she wants me to draw somebody else or she gets it and she gives it to somebody else if I can get this darn thing open. I stuck this one backwards. Ronell. You are the winter. Now these will stay in there. I've taken the ones that have won out. But these will stay in there till next week. And we'll probably do another super chat next week too. And a um members only giveaway next week so we did mods and this this week yep we'll do a super chat again next week and a mod giveaway next week not my members giveaway next week and um these will stay in there till then and i'll just add to it and then after next week they'll go in the bucket with the ones from january and then at the end of march I will pull three winners out of everybody that's in the in, in there together. Has Miss Ronell gone to bed? I want to donate mine to a little bit. Oh, that's so sweet. Y'all let me write this down. So I know who I need to ship to. 
Okay, Ronell and a little bit. Ivy is getting a J. Jen is getting a 6.5. And Rose is getting the 5.0. So, a little bit, which one do you want? Uh, we are, I think, Jim, we are going to make something next week. I just got to come up with it. Well, I ain't got to come up with it because I've been making stuff, y'all. Y'all want to do the little pouches next week? Y'all want to make the little crochet pouch? Y'all want to make these next week? If we use it, this is the link double crochet. I'm going to actually do a tutorial for it. Um, But if we use a different stitch besides it, it won't take as long to make one like this. Which one you want, little bit? We got two I's, an H, and a J left. We got an H, I, and a J in the rainbow, and an I in this one. Okay, well, I'm going to go ahead and tell y'all what y'all need to make the little pouches with. You really just need a, some cotton yarn and a button. Oh, thank you, Ms. Rose. Yeah, you a little bit. Miss Ronell won, but she's donating hers to you, Liz. So I just need to know which one you want, darling. And these are going to be packaged in bubble wrap, y'all. Y'all going to have to cut into them to get to them, but I'm going to make sure they're well protected. And all of y'all will also get a set of stitch markers. And probably some extra little goodies too. My tape measure should be in tomorrow. Maybe, maybe UPS will run early and then I can go to the post office. I'm waiting on them to come to send Miss Donna's hers. Oh, Jen, y'all are so welcome. Do you have a J? I do. This one's a J. In the rainbow. You want this one? Oh, Elizabeth, you're fine. You'll have to go back and watch the replay because we made the wine bottle cover tonight. So you'll have to watch the replay and make your, make your wine bottle cover. Okay. So a little bit is getting this one. Jen is getting this one. Ivy is getting this one, and Rose is getting this one. And next week, we're going to make the pouch. Might just do it in the Suzette stitch, because it works up pretty fast. So, I just like... To Helping those that help me, Sarah. I just, this is my way of, she wants the rainbow. Ooh. Who wants the rainbow one, Sandrine? Yes, I need a single crochet double crochet and you you um just reverse it 
you'll do a single and the double and the double and the single on the next row. And if you're not familiar with it, just go watch the tutorial that Brenda from Brenda New the Newbie Crocheter has on her channel. And um watch how she does it. Sandrine, who wants the rainbow one? Yeah, Liz. Ivy's getting this one in the J. Rose is getting the H. Jen's getting the 6.5. And Liz is getting the 6.0 in the rainbow. You'll just need some cotton yarn and a button. That's it. Um, I can show you how to put these clamp clips on. Um, so if you got some of these clips. We'll just make the clip optional. And if y'all want me to show you how you how you connect it to it, I will. But if not, we'll just make the little pouch. Sunita says Sandrine wants the rainbow. That is how I made my red headband. Yep. Hook size uh, for the rainbow one is a J. 6.0 oh, hook size on this little pouch i actually used a 3.75 millimeter crochet hook i used the one brenda made me um right here it's a susan bates 3.75 i actually used it we can use a four though this is the um stripey yarn. What what's it called? Um is it peaches and cream stripey or sugar and cream stripey you get from Walmart? That's a lot softer than the regular normal yarn. Hey Liz, welcome in, darling. Welcome in. How are you doing? So we'll make this next Monday. And I'll put it on my community tab of everything that you need. I'll actually do that. I'll do it Friday. Uh, Furls, Aisha. Jen says, hi, Liz, my cellmate. Good to see you. Oh, I love you, Liz. Love you, love you. I love all of y'all. Liz is my sissy. Mwah. Them lips. Everybody's speaking to Liz because we're happy to see her. Happy to see her. So, and we have three more to give away next week. This is not all the furls I have, y'all. I have wood ones, too. So I'm going to put these back up here. Until next week. See? I have wood ones. <laughs> I have an elf in the wood. I have a G. A P, which is a 10 millimeter, N, which is a 9, and an M, which is an 8. So I have these too. The hooks for the purses, uh, Lady G, I ordered them off of Amazon. I think it came with like 80 in a pack. Um, They come with rose gold. Silver, gunmetal, antique bronze, and black. I think I named them all. Antique, bronze, gunmetal, black, rose gold, silver, and gold. 
six six different colors and it came with like 80 in a pack and i like like them what's the name on amazon i can share it in the chat right quick And also, let me share that. Um, the webcam, too. All right, the first link that I am putting in the chat is for the webcam. been so long since i ordered them they're not in my orders anymore so i'm having to look them up for y'all that's not it that's them but that's only 56 the same colors but that's only 56 and i took out mine mm. That's not it either because I don't, I didn't get those D rings with them. I just saw them the other day and didn't even think to put them in my cart or in my wish list or my got it off of Amazon list. Liz, uh, sis, Liz, what you been up to? Now, I know you can get these at Hobby Lobby or Michael's or Joann's, too, where you don't have to buy, where if you don't want to buy as many. And y'all, I really can't find them. I found some that's like them. I'll share that. And maybe it'll send you a... Unless they miscounted mine... And it comes with an extra 5% off coupon. But these are showing $13.98. But I'll put the link in the chat. And this is for 60 pieces. Six colors. Same as what I had. And that's the link for them. Oh, Lord, you're still fighting with the doctors. Tell them they better get right. Or I'm going to have to make a trip to California. I'll have to check my previous orders. It won't let me on my phone. It tells me I've reached the end of my orders. 
but this is all the colors that come in them right there but i know i and y'all i know prices have gone up See, they got a 48 piece for $12.59, but you get that 60 piece. Uh, from Furls, Elizabeth, these, yeah, from Furls. I don't know if they're still selling them or not, or if that was just for Pride Month. I don't know. I just click see all on my order, so let me see if that'll that'll pull them. Nope, it just says you've reached the end of your orders. Still. Oh. Huh? That was for the last three months. Let me hit 2021. <laughs> I bet I find them now. And we'll see exactly what it was, won't we? Amazon should send me a, uh, automatically send me a check. It's 80 pack lanyard swivel snap D is what I had got. And they're $10.99 for 80. So they've gone up. Because when I ordered them, they was $8.99. So I will share this link in the chat now. I mean, I guess they're they're good to have because you can use them for different things. You can make lanyards crochet lanyards and there they go oh you welcome now um my maria's next week we're gonna be doing a members giveaway for one of the furl hooks and um what i said members and that said another super chat? Yeah, another super chat. So, for next week. So, you still got an opportunity to win one. You order so much, you need company stock. No, I actually split mine with my daughter. And, um, because she's, um, does leather keychains and stuff. So, I, we ordered them together. And I split some with her. So. Yeah, Chastity does a lot of stuff on the crickets. And she does keychains. And stuff like that. So, I split with her. I order so much, I need company stock. I do. I do get rewards back, and I use a lot of that. I'll let it build up, and then I'll order stuff. But I'm on a, I'm on an order hold right now. Last thing I ordered was the tape measures, the scissors, and the um, what else was it, y'all? Tape measures, scissors. And the digital row counters. I'm not going to be doing a daytime live. Well, right now, I know I'm not. But I am moving to Monday nights. Mondays at 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. Oh, the yarn in the freezer. Let me go get it. Thank you, Ms. Dawn. Well, 
Well, I can tell you one thing. It's not froze because it wasn't wet. And I'm just getting this other over here that I need to unravel. Mm. Okay. This is not froze. So let's see how this does. So far, so good. And it could be because of the stitching is just chains and a shell. Kind of got hung. Well, there we go. Kind of got hung up there. Whoop. I changed colors. So let's see. Well, this one so far has been good. I think it's because of the stitching, though. Mm. Spoke too soon, didn't I? All right. We met a snap. And see, I broke it. Okay, now this I did doubles, single, half doubles, a uh, little mesh stitch. I didn't tie it off. It just came out of the freezer, and it's not even cold. So let's see. Well, it's getting, y'all hear it? Oh, uh, freezing it don't help. Not this. It broke. Y'all see it, don't you? Nope. So freezing it don't work. Unless you're supposed to wet it and free <laughs> freeze it. But it don't work. But, I mean, it's not even cold. So, that was a bust, wasn't it? Now, I have to sit here and try to figure out how to get this loose so I can finish frogging it. Yep, well, there's that, ain't it, Mama J? That's a mess. Yep, sure is. So, freezing didn't work. But that's what I had left over on the black from making the lava rock poncho. And um, I crocheted it up. Liz reminded me today to put it in the freezer. And I put it in there about in between 1 and 2 o'clock. I put it in the freezer. So it's been in there all that time. Miss Donna, you had high hopes. Yeah. Well, I will get this stuff pack, packaged up nice and neat and get it um to the post office tomorrow. I was going to go today, but I'm waiting on the tape measures to come in. They're supposed to come tomorrow. Now, UPS normally depends on the driver. UPS normally runs kind of early. If they're late, if I have the other driver, it might be 6 o'clock tomorrow evening before I get them. Um, I got somebody's mail in the car that won on the last time, and then I got sick. And I didn't package it or anything until I found out I did not have the big C. And, um... Do you need right patterns or just a chart on my blanket? I think, well, I mean, I just use grouse for mosaic. I don't read the right. I'll take a pencil. If it's got a lot of single crochets in between the doubles on the mosaic graph, I'll take a pencil and write how many singles it is per row, you know, for every row in between the doubles. So I don't have to sit there and try to count them. Maybe it's supposed to be wet first. I have... I mean, that's the lava yarn. I have some. I can crochet up um, two more swatches. 
I can do one with um, where I don't wet it and don't put it in the freezer. Yeah, Jen, I'll show it again. And I will wet the other one and then freeze it and see does that help. And we'll do we'll do that Monday, y'all. Just remind me. Yeah. The chart for me. Yeah. I can do just a graph, um, Liz. And let me get it pulled back up here so y'all can see it. Uh, let me turn my light down. Turn the lights down. I'm still wanting to blow out. Can y'all see it? Just this Thursday, um, Mama Riz, because she's not gone. Um, she had something to come up that's conflicting with her, um, with her time. There y'all go. So instead of her going on at 12 this Thursday, she'll go on at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I know. I love that. I love it. I can't wait for the graph. Liz, they're asking what is the background colors. Oh, I definitely understand, Mama Riz. If things get to where I can see I can do a daytime live, I will. I'll just have to try to find a spot that I can fit in without stepping on anybody's toes. Um... Liz, what yarn did they use? Did you use? It is, Elizabeth. It's absolutely beautiful. I believe that Amazon. I don't know how they do it, but there's some people that do give them suggestions on the stuff to buy. And if they buy it through that name, they get a percentage. Yeah. She said ice cream big scoop in the unicorn colorway. Yeah, that is it is. It's very, very beautiful. With the flat with the tulips and the butterflies. Can I show my Santa Fe mosaic blanket? Santa Cruz. Santa Cruz. I hadn't done no more on it, Sandrine. Y'all wore me out last night. <laughs> oh, but I loved it and I enjoyed it. This is the Santa Cruz. Well, I got it upside down as always. There we go. And 
and I'm using all Dollar Tree yarn. It's by Daisy Nuts. And she's on Ravelry. So, let me go to the email right quick. Abby says she sent hers in. I got your email, Sarah. Oh, I like it. Love it. This is Ivy's wine bottle. Cover. Love it. Do all wine bottles have a red top? Do they? Thank you, Elizabeth. I love doing mosaic. I got four of them going. And a rug. I love doing them. Where's the jug bag at, Ivy? Right, Jen. I was, I was, that's why I said she sent her picture in. Let me go see it. I'm expecting those brown glass jugs with the one finger handles on them. I can see Ivy with that one finger through there too. Chugging down. <laughs> yeah. I've got a bunch of mosaic patterns. Um, some of them are free. Now, one thing I suggest when buying, I'm talking about the tops. This part. I guess it just depends on the company, huh? Ivy said, you're going to go make me find one, LOL. You know, Ivy, I, I look, I said next time I go back to the indoor flea markets, if they got one in there, I was going to buy it. And I was going to show it on my next live. <laughs> and tell you, here you go. Cheers. <laughs> Lady G, basically, you just do it on graph paper. You can do it straight on graph paper. I know there's a lady on YouTube. Just type in on YouTube how to um, how to read a mosaic chart. And she teaches you, welcome in, Ola Joe. welcome in. Uh, she teaches you how to um, read it using graph paper without X's. Santa Cruz by um, Daisy Knights. You want me to drop the link, Mama J? I need, you know what? What I'm going to do on my night bite tomorrow is put the link to all of the patterns that I'm working on which is the Havana by Tenna, the Indiana by Tenna. This is the Santa Cruz by Daisy Knots. And our and ours. The Scenic Beauty Mosaic Blanket, which the grouse are by Maud Ackerman. It's called the Mix and Match Mosaic Pattern. And the rug that I'm doing, I'm just using some of Tenna's patterns from um i want to say it's from the indiana blanket so i will put those in my night bot tomorrow so when i'm live and i'll do them as a command and we can just drop them by the name of the pattern uh now i know um The one that we're doing for the for the calendars, there um she has a she's on Etsy and on 
rivalry. And she was shocked when she woke up and found all the cells on the pattern. And Maribel left a message when she bought it. And I explained to her why. And she reached out to me. And she let me know that she was on Ravelry. Now, I do think it's a little bit cheaper on Ravelry than it is on Etsy. Because um, she says she normally don't have that amount of sales on Etsy. Uh, Miss Connie, I don't know what she's going to name that one. That one is um, a design by a little bit of everything, which her name is Liz. Welcome in, Sue R. How are you? So I'm not sure what she's going to name that one yet. That's her own design. But if you've never done Mosaic before, I recommend that you go watch Fiber Fox on YouTube or Tenna and um, do a couple of, of um, do the tutorials that they have along with them. And um, I, I tell everybody, the link I just dropped is for the Santa Cruz. Yes, doing a Linda, Elizabeth, doing a Linda. Why I'm able to create more of my own creations now is because Veronica encouraged me to get Fiber Fox and Tina. Let me find Tina's and drop her. And I'll drop Fiber Fox too. Um, Veronica encouraged me to get organized. And I did. And I have each one of my mosaic projects in a basket. And I have the yarn in there that I need to work on them with. Um, this one that I'm going to drop is actually mosaic part one. For fiber fox. So. Um. Oh, Sarah beat me to the punch. Look at there. And then Tina. Now, Tina is, um, she's from another part of the world, but she, you can understand her very, very well. Very, very good. Um, Now, Fiber Fox Studio also has a tutorial on how to create your own mosaic charts using Google Sheets. So, it's a lot of it's a lot of information out there on how to create your own. Um. Ch -ch -ch. I'm going to share her beginner guide to Mosaic Crochet, the basics, which is part one, and she has a series, and this is Tenna. 
that will be the next link that I drop. I'm going to warn y'all, Mosaic is very, very addictive. So, don't say I didn't tell you. Jenny, you ain't tell me Mosaic was addictive. Y'all record this. Mosaic is very, very addictive. Almost as addictive as uh, buying yarn and hooks. <laughs> look, look at Sandrine. Addictive, yes. And it's not hard at all. You using single crochet and double crochet. The only thing is, except for your very first stitch and your very last stitch. Those are the only two that are regular single crochets. Everything else is done in the back loop only. And when you do your doubles, you drop down two rows below and you work in the front loop. All right, the hit replay, huh, Sarah? Just look, you can fast forward to the end and just remember this. Mosaic is addictive. I need to do that in Nightbot, don't I? <laughs> yep, Liz started because of us, and she's already created her own pattern and everything. So, Ivy says, does anyone want to do meal growl for Ivy leaves? Ooh, that would be pretty. Yep. <laughs> right, Mama J. My name, she said her name is Mama J and she's a mosaic addict. My name is Jeannie and I am a mosaic addict. Yes, Elizabeth, she is. I look at yarns differently since mosaic entered my world. Right. Because <laughs> look. Y'all know we do the mystery boxes, 65 and 45. And um, I'm putting yarns in them that I would normally use. I mean, you buying them, so hey, I'm, I'm giving you good stuff. But with Mosaic, you don't have to run out and buy specific yarn. You can use what you got. Because that, that Liz has... When I get that growl, I'm going to use the flake yarn from Michaels on it. I have it in a light pink, a little darker pink, a purple, a yellow, and green, and a gray. I'm going to use that to make some mosaics with. I think it'll be really pretty with the flecks in there, and you get those little different colors. Especially for the butterflies. And Sandrine did. She made a mosaic wrap song. But yeah. That's how I'm getting so much done. Because I work on. By the end of this month. I will have done. Three of my mosaic blankets. And my rug. I'm going to finish that. Yeah I can't call my blanket purplicious. Because there's another one out there called purplicious. So I'm going to come up with some other name for it. I'm going to finish that. I've created the Lava Rock Poncho. Created this. Created these two. And I created this. <laughs> and let me show Mama Riz because she didn't get to see it. Mosaic rap song. Yep, Lady G, she came up with a mosaic rap song. So, been busy, but I have time. Even doing the slideshow, keeping up with emails and all that other stuff and everything else and doing a eight to five job. I have time because I'm organized.
Yes, Connie. Little coin purses. Yep. These are going to be filled with um, a tape measure, a pair of scissors, a digital rope counter that fits on your finger. And um, I know mine's going to come with a set of my stitch markers. Got to see how many I got. I might need to get Alex to make some more. Yes, ma'am. So, I did the fabric just to give it some sturdiness. And then I didn't want all my hooks to be covered up. So, I did a, a pocket down here and then one across the top. And this is connected to the crochet here. And this is connected here. And then this is a pocket that I did the... um. Same stitch that I used to make the stitch marker wall hanger with. I did 16 chains and plus three. So ended up getting one, two, three, four of the little cross stitches on each row. So you can hang your stitch markers on there. And so. And Monday we are going to make this. That Dollar Tree cotton, Connie, is really, really good. And honestly, when it's washed, it gets better. We've done reviews on all of that stuff last year. The Yarny Fiber Sisters did. Veronica, Melissa, and myself. And everything we did swatches on, we put it in the washer and the dryer, even if it said do not wash or do not dry, just to test it to see what it would do to the fabric. So we can let y'all know. If it says do not wash or do not dry, don't do it. <laughs> the only cotton yarn that I have had an issue with washing and drying it has been the um, Hobby Lobby. The ones that come in the cake. Sugar Wheel. They're Sugar Wheel cotton. I made a... Um, actually, it was Cinnamon Stitches Beach Cover... Uh, cover-up thing that she did out of the sugar wheel. I made that. I put that thing in the washer and I used a and didn't realize that my husband's work shirt was in the washer with it. And it's a Dickies button-up and I used a whole lint roller trying to get the fibers off of it from that one piece so, thank you, Elizabeth. But, yeah, it's, uh, you know, that's what we did last year. We made squares. That's why Veronica said she didn't want no part of squares this year. Because <laughs> we was trying to come up with what we was going to do as a group. And we had all started, all three of us had started in mosaic. So, we decided we'd do a mosaic. And... Veronica came up with the idea of doing the calendar. She was at Dollar Tree and saw that calendar. And then we had a meeting and she showed us and asked us what we thought about it. And we liked the idea. So that's how the calendar was born into the Yarny Fiber Sisters. And it has been such a huge, huge success. I did, Colleen. I did it in the freezer and it didn't work. It was horrible. So, I didn't wet it though and freeze it. I have some more lava, lava um, crystal cakes down there. I'm going to crochet two more swatches. Um, and I'm going to not put one in the freezer. And the other one I'm actually going to wet and put in the freezer and let it actually freeze. And we're going to see if that makes a difference. And if it don't, then we know that that method <laughs> is not true. <laughs> that, you know, that's what we do. We If somebody says something, it was suggested, I think, last week or 
during Saturday during the Arnie Fiber Sisters, I do believe, that someone said that if you freeze it, it's easier to frog. Um, because it's got like a piece of silver metallic yarn that runs chain spun yarn that's in the middle, and then it's got all these little fuzzies on the outside of it, which is what's getting hung up when you try to frog it. So we'll see because I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna take one swatch, keep it out, I'm gonna wet the other one, and I'm gonna put it in the freezer. Because it wasn't even cold when I got it out. So we'll see Monday what it does. So for Monday's project, you will need cotton yarn again. Um, now for this with the with the link double crochet, I used a 4.5 millimeter hook. And this is um, sugar and cream yarn too. And it didn't take a whole cake of it, a whole skein of it. But we're going to do the Suzette stitch because it won't take as long to make. Basically, and we'll be able to talk more. I'll stay underneath the camera. But once we get our chain made and we start the Suzette stitch after the second row, it'll just be a constant repeat of that same stitch until we get it the length that we want it because we're basically just working a rectangle. So, oh, you're welcome, Rose, and don't forget to send me your um, information. And y'all don't forget that uh, V's live change Thursday from 12 p.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Sandrine said everyone is getting ready for bed, LOL. <laughs> yep, I'm fixing to get ready to get off too. It's 10.51. I'll get off at exactly 11. Connie, your eyelids weigh about 100 pounds each. Got to get in bed. Love all you guys. Love you too, and thank you for being here. They super quiet. Jen probably done fell asleep, honey. I was just wondering. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Lady G, you don't sleep. Ooh, Jen, get in the bed, honey. Get in the bed. And I will get your furls in the mail to you. I was going to go today, but Veronica's not at home. And I got some stuff to send her. And I want to make sure she's back at home when I send it. Because I don't want nobody... I don't want no pirate porches to get it off of her porch. So, yeah, Sandrine, you are night owl. Everybody's telling you good night, Jen. And rest well. Good night, Mama J. Sarah says, have a great sleep, Jen. I was talking to my son. Ain't bedtime here. It's only going to be 9 p.m. You on the West Coast, Laura? Yeah. I'm a night owl too. Any chat later? I'll probably be up till about one o'clock. I'm not going to bed. I'm getting ready to start my scenic beauty over. Yes. I'm going to work on my, um, my Santa Cruz some tonight. Probably going to go let the head of my bed up and do it in there and watch a little TV. Um, yeah, Seattle. That's right. You're in Washington. Liz, we love you too, darling. I'm, I'm starting to go live on Mondays next week, Liz, at 6 p.m. 
Central Standard Time, which will be for your time. Right, her and Sandrine should go live, right? Sandrine, did you get it? Can you do lives now through StreamYard? You gonna do a late night live on your channel? You you doing the Havana Shaw by Tina tonight? You gonna start it tonight? Michael, please let me know how that how it turns out compared to doing it just straight across. Because if I'm not mistaken, it's like a triangle shawl. Sissy, when you gonna go back live? And I gotta get your stuff in the mail to you too. You like doing the restream without going live. Is that what you do to record your videos, Ivy? Restream? Ivy says she has Sunita at VJ. <laughs> yeah, I want to see how that... Because you're going to start at a point and then work. I've got the pattern. Um... I got one of her purse patterns. Let you try now, Sandrine. Yeah, see, see, did it, see, did it, um, connect to your YouTube? Just log in on StreamYard and um, hit create broadcast, and like we did yesterday, and see is your, see is your YouTube up there. You working on the next pieces of the blanket. Well, honey, you just keep right on working on it. And when you get all your graphs done that go with them tulips and them butterflies, you let us know. Because you already got people wanting that. And then I got to get on my Havana and do pattern two of it because I have to repeat it four times and I have to have it done by the 26th when we meet with the challengers. Yep. I want to do that. And um, y'all do know y'all can take these graphs too and make scars out of them. You can actually take them and make um, squares out of them. Just whatever the stitch the uh, multiples is you just do that just get you some graph paper Sarah and draw I've actually diddled in it and came up with a couple of designs I can show y'all what I came up with it ain't nothing spectacular like Liz but I'm I'm going. I had to put it to the side because I was putting a little much a little too much time in on this. But I'm trying to come up with something for October for Breast Cancer Awareness Month. So let me find the one that I really really like. This one. But this won't be for a blanket. So, this will be for for a uh, bag, and then I did this heart that I really like. And don't worry about the other scribble scrabble stuff around this. Just pay attention to the ribbon. <laughs> So, restroom chat with six people. Restream chat with six people. Oh, were you just going to restream and you just sit there and chat? Yeah, you can do that on here too. You just, I would just drop the link and you click the link and then I end the broad, or end, once I end the broadcast, you just click the link and come up and we can chit chat in the background. So I've been dibbling and dabbling in it, and Veronica 
is dibbled and dabbled in a lot. Now, she showed hers last night on the live, the ones that she has done. So, she wants me and her to create some of our own designs. Me create some, she creates some, we put them together and make another blanket. Oh, Lord, yeah, domestic violence awareness. What call? I'd have to look up, see what colors they are. That would be good. What do I think should be next? Oh, maybe something that kind of looks like, well, do one that kind of looks like grass, if you can. Um, and let that be first. Then do the flowers and the butterflies. And then what would come after that? I would say something simple. And then... What I'm picturing doing it as, yeah, Easter eggs. That would be a good one. Um, let the last one have a sun in the corner. Donna G said bees. Good night, Elizabeth. Thank you for being here, sweetie birds and trees and a little at a little bit yep some bees definitely would work some easter eggs y'all she's done a llama too when you say talent she's got the talent everybody telling elizabeth good night Sandrine, what you need help with? Stream yard. Okay, when I get off, I'll, you can video call me and I'll see what you're talking about. Crosses, yeah, crosses would be another good one. You're writing all this down, Liz. <laughs> you're writing it all down, honey. There's the link for the Yarny Fiber Sisters this Saturday. At 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, our winding path through a flower garden. Yep. Oh, that would look good. Mm-hmm. That's, see, that's why I love this community. We can just throw ideas out there and bounce stuff off of each other. All right, Sarah, write those ideas. A wishing well. Maybe some baskets. Ooh, baskets with the eggs in them. <laughs> yep. That would be good. But yeah, Liz, it is beautiful. Donna G says, oh, I like that ivy. Yes. Yep. Whew. 
cool ladies and gents. I'm gonna get off of here. It is 11:03. I got three minutes before it reaches four hours. I might as well stay those three, huh? And get those four hours in. Let create one. Create one, we'll get it and we'll incorporate it into the uh, October month um, with the Yarny Fiber Sisters. And also whoever else gets it and makes it, they'll get extra points into the um, giveaways. Right, Ivy, a big old sunflower. Ivy, have you ever been to the sunflower field on 14? Um, when they grow all the sunflowers out there and you can take pictures, you ever been out there on highway 14 coming back towards Selma? It's in between, um, Statesville and Otagaville. You too, Sarah. Good night. Good night, little bit. You going to you going to bed to sleep on all this? Too much information in one night. <laughs> oh, they do it every year. They plant these big fields of sunflowers and they set up out there. Um, and you can go out there and take pictures and stuff. A lot of people were stopping and just going out there taking their own pictures. And the owners <laughs> realized that they could make money off of it. And so they set up a whole darn thing out there and have somebody to take your pictures and stuff. And you pay for them now. So. I just try to get a picture when we drive by. I tell my husband, slow down. <laughs> Just take a picture of the sunflowers. I don't have to be in them, but it, they, they make some beautiful pictures. Yeah. All right, ladies, and if there's any gentlemen in here. My scenic beauty blanket. Yes, ma'am. Let me get it right quick. Uh, okay, this is the right way. This is January. And this is February. Unfold it so you can get a little more. Let me get the ruffles off of the front of it. There we go. Can you see that, Mama J? You live a sheltered life, honey. I do, too. I don't go nowhere. A Walmart Dollar Tree. That's pretty much it. I'm either here at this house or across the yard at the office. Yep. Yeah. This is chart G, Mama J, and this is chart I, and then the next one will be N, is G, I, N, P, R, then L, then R, P, N, I, G again, but you don't use the same colors. So the next one will be March. Now I still got my single crochet rows to do up here. In the three colors. I got to do, I think, two or three rows in the, in the ivory color. And then the peacock tails and then the navy. So. And that's just given that separation in between each pattern 
Some people do a separation in between and some people don't. I just like for my patterns to be separated. That's just my own personal preference. Uh, five milligram ivy. And this, I'm using a five milligram with all of my mosaics. And all this is Hobby Lobby yarn. I love this yarn from Hobby Lobby. This down here was um, Royal Blue, Blue Green Multi, and Arctic Ice colors. And then up here is Ivory, Peacock Tails, and um, Navy. We chose three colors, but you're only using one color with your single crochets in between your patterns. Before you start the pattern and when you end the pattern. Yeah, I used a size 5H. All, uh, all my clover, uh, my H clover hooks, I have three of them. So, I use them. And um, I think this one is 240 plus 3, 243 stitches. I got them wrote down in my notebook for my mosaic blankets. My goal, I'm going to have to, I'm not wanting to do one pattern a month on them. I'm wanting to do at least two. Because I want to at least have all of these done by June. And then start some more. Um... Because I do plan on giving some, doing some for my kids because they all want one. So the next ones that I start will be started in their colors that they've chose. And this one right here, I'm going to have to make another one for myself because I'm actually gifting this to someone very, very special. So... This one, when I'm done with it, it will go to someone else. And I would love to be able to hand deliver it, but the mail would just have to do. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to wash it and dry it and all that far. Yeah. <clears throat> told you mosaic is addictive I think I'm going to leave the blue one on there for a while <laughs> and take the purple one off I think I'm going to make one of these for my cup too alright I'm going to get off of here and see if I can help send dream so she might be going live here in just a little bit, y'all, for y'all night owls. But I will talk to y'all. I'll see y'all in Veronica's chat Thursday. Um, and then I'll see y'all again Saturday. And then I'll see y'all again Monday. <laughs> so now I'll see some of y'all in the chat at Melissa's live Friday. So. Everybody have a good night. Yes, have a blessed night. Have a wonderful day tomorrow. Always be kind to one another. Like Sandrine loves to say, always put God first. Always remember to smile because you never know. Your smile could turn a frown upside down. And you could just have saved that person's life just by smiling at them, y'all. A smile goes a long way. Thank everybody for being here. Everybody have a good night. Ms. Rose, please send me your information if you haven't already. Jen, I have your address. A little bit, I have yours. Ivy, I need yours. And I will get all this stuff packaged up and in the mail to y'all. I will see y'all Thursday. Y'all have, well, I'll see y'all on the YouTube streets, but I'll see y'all again Thursday on Veronica's in the chat. I don't know about coming up, but I'll be in the chat. Y'all have a good night.